Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this time in Chaos Magic, we are playing the Ant Man leadership deck that we built in uh, episode 2 of the Chaos Magic deck building episode. Uh, we are playing against Ultron on standard difficulty, so phases 1 and 2, and the modular set ended up being the Anachronauts. So let's quickly check out the deck. I won't go into much detail about the deck, except that uh, mentioning it's built around Moxie and utilizing Ant-Man's ability to change uh, form multiple times, so Moxie should find a good place to be played. Also, inspiring presences are in the deck to uh, utilize the allies even more. And uh, other than that, pretty basic. Uh, leadership Ant-Man deck and uh, I will put a link to the uh, deck building episode to the upper right corner for you to see so you can check out the uh, deck building if you haven't already and uh, as always we have uh, set up the scenario already uh, the decks are uh, shuffled the only thing we need to do is to um, put one uh, player card as a drone Okay, but that's enough of the scenario and the deck, so let's get started. To finish off the setup we put one card as a drone, then we flip this over, and the threat threshold is only three, so we need to hurry and flip to hero mode. As fast as possible, so we try to keep the Crimson Cow uh, scheme in play as long as possible. Uh, let's draw our opening hand. Uh, genius. Uh, wrist Gauntlets, Team Training, Chance Stomp, Power in All of Us, and Team Particles. Hmm. Well, I don't think we need. Uh, Wrist gauntlets right at the start. Uh, yeah, let's just mulligan that. Then uh, uh, I think we could play Giant Stomp with Pin Particles and Genius. But uh, team trading. We are mulligan in these two, or at least team training. Let's see if we can hit a basic card. Uh, we get the Ant-Man's helmet, so a bit change of plan. Um, we will be playing the Ant-Man's helmet with Genius and uh, the power in all of us. No, let's use the... Yeah, so we'll play it with these. We'll save the giant stomp for next round and the power in all of us for next round. Really don't need those right away. So uh, let's start uh, by. Well, we could play this. Let's see. We can't uh, draw. We can draw by going into. Tiny version with the helmet, but we can't uh, use the pink particles for that. Or maybe we just forget the giant stunt for this round. This way we could. Uh, no, it, it doesn't work. So uh, we'll just use the pin particles and uh, won't draw. It's a bit wasteful, but it is a very it is. So we'll play the helmet. Such a good card, we want to get it into play as fast as possible. And uh, we will flip to let's go to tiny version to draw a card. Maybe we'll get something to play. And it's Wasp. And unfortunately, we can't play that. Oh well, uh, we'll remove one threat from a skin. There are none, so we'll just hit this drone. And it is giant strength. Well, not that bad. 
think that is our turn. Uh, we ready up. We'll drop up to five. Uh, Spider Man and Iron Heart. So, two cards we can utilize are powering all of us next turn. Then uh, I'm shuffling a bit here so I can put the camera view better. So we'll add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Ultron attacks. After Ultron attacks, you choose to either place one threat on the main scheme or put the top card of your deck to play as a Face down Brown minion, engage with two. Okay, well, uh, Ultron attacks, I won't defend. Uh, two plus two is four damage. And uh, we'll put that drone down because we are going to go to a giant form and we'll just defeat it. So the drone attacks for one and counter card for this turn is uh, Android Efficiency. So choose to either each player puts the top card of their deck into play based on its drone minion. So we get another drone. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So I think uh, we could play Iron Heart. We'll use the power in all of us. I'll draw a card. Giant strength. Mm. Okay, well. I think we will. I will thwart for one. I will flip to giant form. Uh, we deal 1 damage to Ultron. We'll use Spider-Man, Giant Strength and Wasp to play Giant Stomp. So we deal 1 damage to each minion. These are defeated. We got Rapid Response and Armored Ants. And then we deal 8 damage to Ultron. Then we will hit for 3 damage. That is our turn and we also heal 2 damage with the Ant-Man's Helmet when we change to Giant Form. Ready up. We draw back up to 4. We get Lockjaw, Maria Hill, Queen Carrier and Giant Storm. Okay. Then uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. Ultron attacks. Uh, I I think I will defend for this one. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so we take no damage. And uh, I think I'm playing Maria Hill next turn, so I'll let this advance to 2. And the encounter card for this turn is uh, Apocrypho. Uh, it's a minion 1 scheme 3 attack, elite temporal 4 health. When revealed, discard an ally or support. To so bye bye Iron Heart. Well, that was annoying. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. How will we deal with the minion? I think I'm going to giant stomp the minion away. Then flip to tiny version. Okay, so I'll play. Uh, uh, I'll use Lockjaw. Murray Hill and King Carrier to Giant Stomp. Or should I do something else? No, guy hits too hard, so we'll just defeat this. And uh, we'll flip to tiny version. So we draw one card, Army of Ants, and we remove one threat from a scheme. And that is our turn. We ready up. Go back up to five. Okay, we get uh, Moxie, resize, beat them up, Avengers Mansion, and we have the Army of Ants. 
Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Outrun attacks. This time I will defend. Or should I? Because I have Moxie. I think I won't defend. Okay, so we'll take it. 2 plus 0 is 2. So that's okay. And this time we have to add a drone so we don't advance the Crimson Call. Encounter card is gang up. So Ultron attacks. Uh, 2 plus. Hmm, should I now defend? I think I'll have to defend. The Moxie plan is not worth it. So uh, we take 1 damage. And I decide to add a drone. And the one drones hit for two damage, so down to four. Still taking way too much damage, so we need to get this thing under control. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I think I'll play the army of ants. Uh, I'll defeat one of the drones. Uh, actually, let's hit. Um, let's back up. <laughs> I'll use the Avengers Mansion and uh, resize. No, I'll save the beat em up for later. So we'll do uh, as we originally thought to hit this. Uh, we'll flip to Giant. We'll heal two. Then we'll defeat this one. Then we will resize. We'll go back to tiny version. And that is our turn. Uh, I'm not keen on trying to play the mansion. Uh, let's just keep it. So I'll draw back up to five. So we got strength, which will help us play the mansion. Then we can play endurance and stuff like that. So uh, we go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme of front attacks. I will defend. So two plus one is three, so one damage. And we'll add a drone, which will attack, and that is fine. And we'll get a counter card. And it is upgraded drone, so. Uh, each drone minion gets plus one attack and plus one hit point and spend uh, three different resources so energy, mental and uh, physical to, to discard this card so that is a bit annoying but it is what it is so that is that turn let's go to the next zero phase I'll start by using the army of ants We'll deal one here, and uh, I'll use the heli carrier, beat them up, and strength to play the Avengers Mansion. We'll draw a card with the mansion. Okay. Uh, we'll flip to giant form. We'll deal one damage here, eating this, and. Uh, We'll play the Endurance, so we heal two by going to the Giant version and play Endurance, so we get three health. That is our turn, ready up. And we... Uh, yeah, uh, so unfortunately we can't stop this anymore. But it is what it is, so we'll throw back up to four. So, Squirrel Girl, the power in all of us, inspiring presence and energy. So, I think we're playing Squirrel Girl next turn to destroy all of the drones. So, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add a threat to the main scheme, so it advances. We get the assault on Norad. Each player puts a uh, top card of their deck into face down as a drone. 
After placing threats here during step 1 of the main phase, each player must choose to either place two threats here or put the top part of the deck in play face down as a drone minion. So, uh, Ultron attacks. This time I won't defend. So, 2 plus uh, 1 Ultron heals 1 damage for each drone engaged with you. So, 1. So, 3 damage. And the one drone hits us. I uh, will actually add a threat here. So we'll take one damage from the drone. Okay, and uh, no, uh, I took three damage and one from the drone. Yeah. I think that's uh, correct. Yeah. Or I, I think I need to take two more. So I had uh, nine. Yeah. So three plus one. Oh yeah, and the drone hits for plus one. So I'm down to four. I think I'll add a. Uh, counter to show that the drones are a bit stronger. I'll just put this here. Okay, uh, that is the attacks and uh, the encounter card is Rage of Ultron. Ultron Attacks. You discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt, so you have to defend. So, four is one, and we'll add a threat here. And we take one damage, so we discard one card. Okay, well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, I'll Draw a card, resize, useful. I'll play Squirrel Girl with the energy to deal one damage to everything. Squirrel Girl will kill off this. Mm. Then I will Go to tiny version and I'll draw a card. I mind not useful. We we'll remove one. We deal one. And uh, I'm inspiring presence in the squirrel girl so we can. Warp this down to zero and we'll resize. So I deal one here and heal two damage. And I'll discard the hive mind and be ready up. We draw back up to four. Get an extra encounter card, which is quite annoying. So, Team Train, Army of Ants, Nick Fury, and Team Particles. So, let's see what we can do with those next turn. But this turn, we go to the villain phase. Yeah, dip one here, and I'll add two to not add a drone. Uh, Ultron attacks, I will defend. 3 plus 2 is 4 is 1 and I'll add a threat to the main scheme to not add a drone encounter cards first one is repair sequence uh, Ultron heals 2 damage for each drone in gets 2 if no, but nothing was healed this card can search so Sir Bastion so guard retaliate 1 that is annoying and the Anachronauts 20 feet that shuffle each temporal card in the encounter discard file into the encounter deck. No 
Okay, well, this got really ugly really fast, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, let's see what we can do this turn. First we'll draw a card. Wrist Gauntlets. And uh, I think I'm going down to tiny version. I will remove one here. Then uh, I think uh, I will draw a card by going to tiny version. Resize. Actually quite useful. I will use team training, risk gauntlets and pin particles and army of ants to play Nick Fury. Actually, uh, let's first resize. We flip to giant version. Uh, let's deal one here. Oh yeah, and before that army of ants dealt one here. Then... Uh, yeah, we use these to play Nick Fury. So, um, I think I won't draw any cards for Nick Fury this turn, because I really don't have that many cards in hand, so I think we are uh, focused on removing this. So, Squirrel Girl is defeated. Just remove this one. So when defeated, temporal cards go back into the to deck. This is these are not temporal. So only this uh, one guy goes here. And this gets discarded. Oh yeah, and uh, we healed two when we went to giant version. Oh yeah, and uh, I've been forgetting to draw a card with the uh, resizes. Well, that's my my fault for not rereading the cards better. So. We should have a damage, and uh, I'll flip down, draw a card, heli carrier, and remove one from here. Okay, so that is my hero phase ready up. We get uh, Trench Strength, Inspiring Presence, Moxie, Army of Ants and Heli Carrier. I will go to the Villain phase, so we add a threat. And then we add two more threat because I don't want to add any drones. Uh, Ultron attacks. Um, Ultra, uh, Nick Fury will defend. So, 2 plus 2 is 4, if you is deleted. So, uh, Raston attacks. I'll just take it. And uh, encounter card. Oh, yeah, and we add one threat so we don't add a drone from Ultron. Encounter card is drone factory. When revealed, each player puts the top card of their deck into play face down as a drone minion. That is not nice. Okay, well, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, let's start by uh, drawing a card. Get the pink carrier. Use inspiring presence. 
Giant Strength, Ellie Carrier, play Queen Carrier. I'll use Queen Carrier to play the Army of Ants. I'll use both Army of Ants to defeat this drone. And I will flip to Giant version. I'll use Moxie. I'll defeat Raston and deal one damage here. So I don't get to retaliate. And I'll heal two with the helmet. So that is our turn. We're ready up. Finally getting some control maybe back into the game. But uh, this is uh, getting uh, quite high. So we need to find a way to get rid of some threat soon. Uh, we draw back up to four. Giant Storm, Inspiring Presence, Hawkeye and Giant Strength. We go to the villain phase. We add two threats here. Now we are at 8 of 10, so we have to add a drone. Then Ultron attacks, and uh, I think I won't defend. So 2 plus 0 is 2. And we'll add a threat here. Encounter card is uh, the Anachronauts. Okay, well, that sucks. So. We need to start trying to rush down Ultron, but that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start by drawing a card. Wasp, uh, that is actually okay, and but I think I'm still playing Giant Storm. So. Let's play Wasp this turn. So I'll use Hawkeye and Inspiring Presence. And uh, we'll actually play down the turn strength. No. Yeah, we'll use the giant strength, so don't use the Queen Carrier. So we get Wasp, and Wasp deals 2 damage here. Then Wasp will hit Ultron to phase 2. So now when Ultron attacks you, put the top card of your deck in play face down. Uh, engage with you as a draw minion until the end of this attack Ultron gets plus 1 attack for each draw minion engaged with you. And uh, well, let's see. We'll flip down to tiny version, so we remove one from here. Then we will deal two damage to Ultron, so Ultron has only 20 spells left, left after that. And we will ward for two here. Keep the chance stomp in hand. Oh yeah, and we draw a card because we have the helmet. So Maria will actually no. I won't uh, use the get rid of the giant stomp. That's too valuable. So uh, we ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five. So I think Wasp will take the attack, so we'll put the drone, no, first we add a threat here, then we add two more threats here. Then Ultron attacks, I'll defend with Wasp, and we get one here, one Wasp is defeated, and uh, we get two encounter cards, so advance Ultron drone, which will just uh, make our lives and another upgraded drone, so now this is plus two. Okay, uh, I think the rushing plan won't work anymore. But we'll see. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we need to get rid of the uh, advanced Ultron drone so we can get rid of the guard. 
And uh, let's start by drawing a card with Dimension. Giant Stomp number two. So, two cards to play one, and don't have enough for the second one. Actually, we'll. Okay, I have to think for a moment how we do this so we could play the both, uh, both of the giant stomps. I think we will just save the other giant stomp for next round and try to deal with all of the drones this, this round. So I'll use the army of ants to deal two damage here. So these have three, this has six, so one left. And uh, we will just resize. We defeat this one. Heal two. And uh, use the power in all of us and wing carrier to. Oh, we have to play the giant stomp, so we'll use. Or in all of us. No. Uh, we used power in all of us to play Iron Heart to draw a card. We get Moxie. Okay. And uh, we didn't use the Queen Carrier yet, so now we use the Queen Carrier, Ari Hill, and Moxie to play a chance stomp. Deal six, uh, uh, one damage here and then six damage here. Get another drone, which we will defeat with Ant-Man, and we will flip down, remove one from here, and uh, draw a card, beat him up. And Iron Heart will dwarf one, and we ready up. And I'll. Get rid of the beat them up. So we get genius, pin particles, inspiring presence, energy, and giant stomp. So pretty sure to giant stomp next round. We go to the villain phase, we add one here. Then uh, we. Let's go out. We have to add a drone. Or do we? Add two, so that would be ten. So yeah, we add a drone. Uh, we'll defend with Iron Heart. Ultron um, adds another drone. Oh yeah, these drones will just murder me. But it is what it is. Let's see how we can survive a turn or two. And discard one current render from your hand, give the enemy another boost card. So, and uh, first, let's discard the card. Okay, so there goes the giant stomp, so that kills our whole turn. Then, um, I'm just gonna discard cards to not get the drone, so... Physical resource, so uh, we'll just have to use the pin particle. Okay, yeah. That is a shame. So, uh, Iron Heart is defeated. This attack I'll defend for the first one, so... I'll only take... 1 damage from there and 3 damage from the other one. And encounter card is advanced Ultron drone, so another guard minion. So I think we're pretty much dead, so let's still play it out. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Oh, yeah, and before that, I forgot to add one from here, so we are one away from advancing. So let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, and uh, this turn we will deal. Put them it's here. We'll draw a card. Extra encounter card. We 
play uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales and we'll boost the attack. So I'll use the energy and queen carrier to play. And now the genius and queen carrier. So uh, Spider-Man will defeat this guy. Oh yeah, we'll get an extra encounter club. That's it. I will shuffle the deck. And uh, we'll play the Inspiring Presence to ready and heal, and it will defeat one more drone. Then uh, we'll flip, uh, heal two, and uh, we are exhausted, so we can't attack. So that is our whole turn. We draw a couple of four. Ready up, get Inspiring Presence, Army of Ants, Turn Strength and Nick Fury. Okay, and uh, Villain Phase, we add two threats, so this advances. We put another drone down. So, Ultron attacks. Uh, I'll defend with Spider-Man. No, wrong deck. So, uh, we put another drone down. Miles Morales is defeated. And uh, we should be ready. So, I'll defend for one of these. But these deal 9 damage. So, unfortunately, we are dead. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see, Ultron isn't that easy if you happen to get these and not uh, mind to remove them. I, I think I didn't have a good hand to remove them and I only, always had something urgent to do with my cards so I couldn't spare the resources to get rid of those upgraded drones which were my downfall for this game but still uh, this was an uh, enjoyable game for me at least it, it really made me think and it's nice to play these older scenarios with uh, newer modular sets i haven't tried ultron with the Ara uh, uh, anachronauts uh, modular set before and those really boost the difficulty of this scenario because i i really were struggling with all of the new uh, minions that come in that set still uh, i think this is Totally doable uh, if you just won't get swarmed with the uh, three health and three attack uh, swarms uh, of drones that will kill you. But it is what it is. And still, I hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.